In this video, I will demonstrate how to assess key metrics, how to run a sun hour analysis, as well as how to use the visual compare tool to compare two or more design options. The analyses are located in the top right hand panel. Let's first consider the area metrics on this proposal. The area metrics associated with your proposal get updated on a running basis as you design. The type of metrics are often country specific, and since this project is in France, you will see metric abbreviations specific to France. As you can see, the area metrics are broken down by function, which gives you a really quick and easy overview. In this particular proposal, I've got about 87,000 square meters of residential area. I can also look at the parking metrics and see how many spots and also the area per spot. It's possible to customize the metrics via the settings icon. Here you can choose which metrics to view and also create your own based on factors or ratios of other metrics. Let me demonstrate how that works. Simply click create area metric, type in a name, and then define the metric type and input how it should be calculated. Lastly, I'd highly recommend you consult the area metric documentation available via our help center to get an understanding of how area metrics are calculated in each geography. In addition to key metrics, we can view quality analyses. At the time that I'm filming this video, we're able to get insight into sun hours, daylight potential, wind, microclimate, and the operational energy of a design option. Let's first consider the sun hour analysis which indicates the number of direct sun hours on the facades and ground of your selected area on a given date. First, we need to select the ground plots and buildings to include in the analysis. By default, all elements within the site limit are selected. If you want to analyze a larger area, for instance, including your surrounding buildings, you can create a new zone and select this zone for the analysis. I'm now going to analyze sun hours on two different alternatives. First, we need to select the day and month of the sun hour analysis. In this case, I'm choosing May 24th, and then once I'm ready to go, I can order the analysis. This might take a couple of minutes, and you will receive a notification when the analysis has completed, and you can view the results in a separate window. Follow the link in the banner to view the results. The colors represent the number of sun hours. The lighter the color, the more hours of sun, on that part of the facade or ground. You can see a legend at the bottom indicating exactly how many hours the different colors correspond to. Use the inspection tool in the top right hand corner to look at specific points on the proposal or on the ground. I can immediately see that my north facing facades are struggling a bit and in fact don't receive any hours of sun. The courtyard in the middle of the urban quarter however receives over four hours of sun. It's also possible to filter the legend for number of sun hours. Here I'm removing all areas that have below six hours of sun. When you're done viewing the results, just exit the sun hour analysis to res return to design mode. We're now going to duplicate proposal one to try to improve the sun hours in the courtyard and between the buildings. Duplicate the proposal in the proposal list, give it an appropriate name. I'm going to call it proposal 1A and then start drawing. First, we're going to address, address the courtyard. We learned that the north-facing building was causing the north-facing facades to be very dark and also casting shadows on the ground. I'm therefore going to delete this building and draw a new line building that's open towards the south. This should hopefully improve the sun conditions. Next, I'm going to tag this with the residential function and ensure that it's six floors like the other building was. I'm also going to slice off a part of the building to the north to see if that will help improve the sun conditions on the ground between the buildings. Once I've made my iterations, I'm going to analyze the sun conditions again. I'm going to select the zone, including all the buildings, and then order the analysis for the same day as before, which was May 24th. Instead of viewing the results directly, I'm going to set up a visual comparison between Proposal 1 and Proposal 1A. The Visual Compare tool lets you compare proposals and analyses. It can be accessed via the left-hand panel. 
To set up a comparison, the first step is to select the proposal and then the re relevant analysis iteration you wish to view. You can add multiple proposals and analyses to your comparison. In this example, I'm comparing two different proposals for the sun quality, but you could also compare the same proposal for two different analyses. I can see that proposal one has a significantly improved sun condition in the courtyard, 0.8 hours compared to almost seven hours in the same spot. If we've added multiple analysis dates, we can view them in the right hand panel. At the bottom, you also have a camera icon where you can do a screen capture and uh, include images in reports or similar. Next, let's look at the area between the two buildings in the north. From 1.5 hours of sun to 2.7 of hours of sun, which is a pretty good improvement. When you're done comparing, you can return to design mode and continue iterating on your proposals. Thank you for watching.